Hey everyone, it's Melody with Design by Melody here. I have the first project with my Take 10 kit and I'm super excited because I was just, I couldn't wait to break this open. I actually had a really hard time waiting for me to actually do my unboxing video before I pulled these out and just started working with them. I was like super excited. So the very first thing I'm going to do is take the cut apart sheet and cut them apart. Now there were these little tags. So you just have to cut the corners off and punch a little hole in them. You don't have to do that, but that's what I chose to do. I just thought it'd be easier to go ahead and have everything ready at the beginning. And then there were a couple of labels and there's going to, I like butcher one of these labels later, but we make it work. No worries. So I'm just cutting out the tags. Now there are a couple larger tags and then a couple smaller tags. And these are really a cool um, thing to include because they are a lot of the same patterns as the cards. So it coordinates very well with the kit, obviously. Um, <clears throat> and this is gonna be a little bit interesting for me because I don't ever scrapbook with gold, at least not on a typical basis. And a lot of these um, embellishments on the Pink Paisley sticker and washi sticker sheet or uh, have a lot of gold on them. So that's just not something I typically scrapbook. So I'm just going to ignore it, pretend like it's silver and just roll with it. I think if I overthink it, then I have a problem. Very first thing I'm doing is flipping through the cards. Now I only have one four by six spot that needs a card. So I'm going to have a lot of cards left over just because I'd have a lot of four by six photos this week. <clears throat> now what I decided to do was pull out my other take, um, not take 10, my other studio 29 design cards that I got in a grab bag. And I'm just pulling out one card from there to use, um, for this photo of Ernest and Kaylin. I wanted to try to save more of the cards from my kit for cards that you would actually see. Um, I did go ahead and use that purple Chevron one for this car or this photo with just Kaylin on it. But the other one with Ernest and Kaylin in the card that actually came from a um, previous um, Studio 29 card. Now I had never purchased the kit, but I did whenever I decided to use that this kit this month, I went ahead and made a purchase in January from the shop just so I could be a little bit familiar with the products. I just got a grab bag. She had a, um, a uh, po a card grab bag for like two bucks, I think. And then also I had bought some planner stamps from her. <clears throat> and also I wanted to just show a little bit of appreciation for the fact that she was giving me these kits to work with and also the, the giveaway kit, which by the way, do not forget to go back and enter in the giveaway. If you missed it, go to the unboxing video, which I posted this past Monday. So just two days ago, go back to that, um, post and enter in the giveaway because I'll be giving away a take 10 kit and a glam bag um, kit from Sarah um, Mitchell. She actually is sponsoring this video. She gave me the kits to work with and also gave me kits for to use as a giveaway. Now I'm only adding very few things with this kit for this layout. I am adding an alpha which ends up being a studio calico um, vellum alpha here. And then I'm also going to, I added that one card from another Studio 29 Designs um, card. And I'm going to add my mini heart punch here in just a moment. And then I also am adding um, the Paper Tray Ink Smoky Shadow Ink to go with the stamps that I'm going to be using here in just a moment. There are a few darker elements on some of the cards, like the word love, the, the um, brush script love. And so I decided to go with my title being dark as well. And I'm using this smoky gray um, ink from Paper Tray Ink. And if you have watched one of my haul videos before, you'll know that this is not really a gray, it's more of a black. It's like, I don't even think it's gray at all. I had made the the comment that I think is more black than my Memento Tuxedo Black, and I'm pretty sure it is either more black or exactly the same um, level of, of darkness. But anyways, I still like the way it stamps, and so I'm going to use it, obviously, and it, it really was not that expensive. It was pretty inexpensive, so um, I'll keep it in my stash. It doesn't hurt to have another ink, of course, especially one that has a pretty good quality. And whenever I was setting out all of my supplies to use, I decided to go ahead and dump the sequence into this little bowl. This just makes it so I can sort through it and pick through it pretty easily. 
One thing that I am going to do is on the title card thing that was in the um, kit there I had the it's like a title page I had like studio 29 designs on it and it had the color palette for this kit so I decided to take out my mini heart punch which I'll do here shortly I decided to take out my mini heart punch and punch it on those little circles that are on the color palette just to give me a few little punched elements to use that are in the same color family and they're exactly the same colors honestly these like both of these sticker sheets from um, Pink Paisley. This one is kind of a vellum sticker sheet and the other one is a washi sticker sheet. I don't know what the deal is. I have a hard time getting them off now. I did just trim my nails tonight because there were a few that were a little uneven. But it was just strange because um, I had a difficult time getting them off the sticker sheet. I thought it I was like at a certain point I thought it was me and it was driving me crazy. This is the label that I am going to end up butchering, and I don't know why I thought it was like an arrow, because it's not an arrow. <laughs> I think it's because of the pattern in the background. It made me think that there was an arrow here on the end, and I realize about right now that, oh, that's not an arrow. So then I try to fix it by making the end just a triangle, and then it looks weird, and so I end up just chopping all of that off and making it just a white label. Yeah, I, I screwed that up. That, mm, yeah, that didn't work out so well. And I'm just stamping the word family. I'm trying to use these stamp sets because if you watched my unboxing video, it was pretty obvious that I loved them. And so I'm going to make sure I get as much use out of them as possible. This is where I'm using my heart punch to punch out these hearts. And I'm sorry that you really can't see what's going on. I hope I get into the um, screen so you can see because it really was an easy way to get a few additional embellishments in the same color family. I'm like barely off screen. If I was just like an inch or further forward, you could see. Ah, oh, there we go. You could see I'm putting them in a the little bucket. Well, you could see on the um, on my mat, those are the circles that are part of the palette that I cut apart. There we go. Now you could see. And I just figured out I can punch two out of each circle and I'm just throwing them in my little bin here with my sequins just for me to be able to pull from. There's a couple of them on this layout. I like to use as many pieces as possible. I don't really like to throw product away. And even um, the rest of that little title card, I'll probably use the back of it. Um, as you, you'll see me do a couple times here, like right now. Um, those washi stickers and those... Um, black and gold stickers are see-through, completely see-through. And a lot of my photos have a lot going on in them. So you can't read what they say if you don't put them on a white backing. I actually don't really like using vellum stickers because you just can't see them, especially, I mean, all my photos are pretty dark just because there's a lot going on. So I almost always back them on white cardstock. So I'll probably even use the rest of the title card that I cut apart, um, or like the packaging that I cut apart from the, the kit just for, for backing some of these other things. Now I thought about using this Just Us badge and the cork, but I decided to wait because there are a couple wood grain cards and I thought it'd be nice to use those all together because it has the brown. This card needed a little something in the top corner, so I'm taking that tag that said love, which will match one of the three by four cards. So I'm gonna put it right here at the top and I'm gonna add a few little bits of sequins. I actually use a lot of sequins on this layout and I love it. I just love the way that it looks. It's kind of, sequins is so my thing. I've never made a shaker card. I might, I have no idea at some point in the future, but I love using sequins kind of like enamel dots. It's kind of, it's kind of one of my things, I like it. All right, so I'm going ahead and working on the middle row here, and I had gotten, so these, these photos are from Mother's Day, and when I first got the kit, my initial thought, or when I first saw the kit online, my initial, initial thought was Easter because of the pinks and the purples and the teals. They would be really pretty with Easter photos. Well... I just scrapbooked some Easter photos with some teal and pink embellishments and um, color items that I had pulled out for my challenge, my February challenge that I posted yesterday. Um, 
so I said, well, you know what? I mean, I do have another year's worth of Easter photos. I have the 2015 photos, but I decided to go ahead and I found my Mother's Day photos. And I thought, oh, what a great, what a great time to also use these same colors. So these, this is Mother's Day. And the boys had gotten me a gift card to Bath and Body Works for Mother's Day. And it had said to the best mommy ever from Kaylin and dad. So I just cut out that part and put it on this card this polka dot card and then I'm going to use the stamps here to um, stamp out happy mother's day let me tell you if I haven't already these stamps are awesome like they're awesome they stamp so well I'm gonna have to um, so I'm not subscribing to any kits because obviously I'm doing this kit review each month and I don't need eight different kits but so far I loved Felicity Jane I'm loving these um the studio 29 design take 10 kits I think at the end of this year now this may totally change like completely change but right now what I'm thinking is that I'll probably end up subscribing to some of the embellishment kits because I have so much paper in my stash I need to use it but I like getting the stamps and the embellishments to go with my paper because I don't, I mean, I have embellishments, yes, but I don't have near as many embellishments as I do paper and mustache. So I think at some point in my future, I'll probably subscribe to like these two kits, the um, Take 10 and, Gra and Glam Bag. I'll probably subscribe to um, Ellie Studios monthly kit. They're each only $10 or around about that. So it would not be... Um, it wouldn't be too much to say that you could subscribe to three or four of those type of kits because it's the same cost as one scrapbooking kit. Um, you just have to factor in shipping, which each of my kit review videos talk about shipping. So that that's something that just keep an eye out for that. Um, so you'll know exactly, you know, what to expect. So it takes me a minute to stamp this out, but it says Happy Mother's Day, and I'm just using these wonderful stamps that I got. Um, I love these alphas. Yeah, totally love them. And I end up using all three stamp sets on this layout, which is really nice. Um, and I can't remember if I mentioned it already. I'm like scatterbrained at the moment. But if if you did not watch the unboxing video on Monday, go back and check it out because there is a giveaway. I'm going to mention it in every video because I do want to make sure that everybody gets a chance to take advantage of it if they would like. And um, also go check out my blog because I do a kit review. I mean, I do a, a blog post for every um video that I post on YouTube except for one haul videos but other than that everything that is posted up there has a video that goes with it I mean a blog post that goes with it oh my god I can't talk okay so I'm just adding a little bit to this other photo and I didn't like my handwritten journaling so I end up taking a sticker and covering that up just kind of piddling around here see if there's anything else I want to add I'm going to add a few little pieces of sequence and then a little heart and then I'll be done Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I really appreciate all the support that you give. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all my videos as they go live. And um, I really appreciate, again, all the support that you guys give. I love the YouTube and Facebook communities. And it's just a great place to get some inspiration, but also share your art. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye.